I've done one swing ahead of for four minutes. Just here. Um, they were very popular in the fishing fleets in Scotland, what they used to use in the fishing fleets. Um, this one was used at Hunting and Hosier Mills near Don Manchester for driving generator for just lighting a factory. So uh, the valves on the side there, they're just for the air start. So once you got to temperature, lift this valve, it just barrel on the eccentrics. So it just lifts them onto the camshaft. So it starts. The last thing you ask why it's got these valves on the side, and you don't see them working once it's so it's only just the starting ones uh, there. Each cylinder is its own individual fuel pump. And that's the spray there. Covers in here. Um, it's got pressure fed, oil pressure to the main bearings. But the cylinders are just lubricated from this oil from the beer. And then any excess oil that collects into the bottom of the crankcase, you have to drain these off every now and then. Once you start it, you'll see me up along and just drain the excess oil. If you didn't do that, it can effectively take the oil into the cylinder and run on its own oil. Because mm -hmm. it is just a ported two stroke, so it's got a port in the cylinder. <coughs> um, the, the sprayers are quite novel. The, the cylinder heads that I'll be heating, it's got a hot spot on there, and the sprayer sprays fuel onto that hot spot. Like once the engine is running, you can actually rotate that away so it doesn't run onto that very hot spot. <coughs> but the, the, mo the most novel feature on this is the design of the lend area. Two strokes are always the, the, the gudgeon pin, connecting piston, it's always loaded down because you've got your power stroke or your compression stroke, so that point is always loaded. So they, they often have two little lens on two strokes. Well, this is a rolling bear. There's nothing missing out of that. That's how it is in the engine. You've got an adjuster there for the down. And the engine running, it rocks. And the oil set up the centre of the top rod. And oil can get between the two surfaces. Now, a few years ago, an on-site was here. And it was April the 1st. And we thought that our chair would organise this great April 1st joke where we take the bush out. So, I ended up taking this crankcase door off, so I take it off regularly now just to show people. <laughs> just to prove it is like that. But when we first restored it, we found that and thought, oh, bushy's got it here, and then two bushes, three bushes. And we started looking into what was <laughs> what it was all about. <clears throat> the gardeners actually had to pay license to Cromholt. To, to use that design, the Cromholt design. The blow lamps, un unlike an ordinary paraffin lamp where you have to put meths in it to vaporise the paraffin, these light straight away because we've got a paraffin tank there and then we've got air compressed air on so they light straight away, they're like instant light lamps. <coughs> so they're a little bit noisy just for when they're just warming up. <coughs> <coughs> 